what do we got? So, I'll do an intro here and a typical wiping the glass up thing. <laughs> hey y'all, welcome to another episode of Chewing the Brew. It's a nice late summer evening here, and I am with my friend Paul from church. And uh, we are going to be enjoying the Coconut Rhino Suit by Ale Song. I believe it's the first stout I've tried from Ale Song, but it is a imperial milk stout aged in bourbon barrels with coconut and cocoa. And uh, yeah, what kind of beers do you like, Paul? Stout, stouts are good, man. I mean, like you know, the darker the better. Yeah. Um, you know, I, 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 I think the first time I told somebody I like Guinness, you know, and they were like, yeah, literally the the name uh -huh. here, they're like, oh, you like to chew your beer. <laughs> you know? You don't um, chew Guinness. Guinness is pretty light for no a kidding. stout. <laughs> no, but I, I drink a lot of IPAs. Uh, Laura's into lagers. Yeah. Um, so I like I like flavor. Oh, of course, yeah. I mean, it's That's... it's a good beer of any style is a good beer, right? Yeah. I've had this out of the fridge for a couple hours, so it should be at a good serving temp. And it is a 12% ABV, so it's a good bottle to share. <laughs> I was thinking you're not you're not polishing this off and when sitting by yourself. No. Unless well, you're gonna have a really good time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to remember it the next morning. Eh, nah, not that bad. I mean, it's only wine, and that would be what three glasses of wine. Yeah. Yeah, it would. I mean, it would definitely. I wouldn't be fit to drive after. That's for sure, but. What do you smell? Man, that's that's like some sort of like chocolatey caramel thing going on. Caramel, okay. Initially, I got like a, a dark cherry, but I tend to smell those on on yeah. like dark stouts. But I definitely definitely pick up the cocoa, like cocoa nibs, like dark chocolate. Yeah. I think that cherry might be the uh, like the bourbon barrels, maybe. Okay. I was gonna say I just had some Washington cherries today, and so this is uh, this would go well with that. <laughs> this is uh, yes the the wonderful berry season of Washington State. It does you know it's funny it does almost have like a wine kind of aspect going on like you said like that like because I wonder if it's just so the the aged kind of yeah. wow that smells pretty good. I am ready to uh, yeah, dive here, in. Yeah, shall we? We shall. That is like candy sweet. Yeah. A uh, little bit of coconut. I, I can't say that I smelled any coconut, but I'm tasting a little bit. Now I'm getting down. The, the coffee's really coming through now for me. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know. Is it like a... Like a black coffee, oh, or no, is like a... like um, almost almost like you're drinking like a strong latte. Oh, really? Um, okay. So it's got you know, you're definitely getting that that milk finish. Uh -huh. you know, it's a smooth like, yeah. Oh, well, that's good. That is good. My definitely first... a savoring beer. You yeah, wanna... I was thinking my first sip. I'm like, this could have been Coca Cola. Yeah. You know? And then all of a sudden, I'm going, oh no, there's there's a lot more going on here. Yeah. So. The, the the kind of the, the flavor journey that I'm getting is this, it's like syrup sweetness, like um, uh, like a, a candy, real just just plain, not not like maple syrup, not like yeah. um, not like a flavored candy. It's like like simple syrup, sugar. Yeah. But then it brings in this kind of fruity, maybe almost a cherry, maybe the milk, um, quality to the sweetness. And then there's a bit of the berry, a bit more of the cherry, kind of midway through, and um, the finish is kind of like this, yeah, coffee, coffee finish that just kind of lingers. Yeah, I'm still searching for the coconut. That's the thing, <laughs> you know. It's when when some when something promises, right? It's mm -hmm. like you're 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 almost psyching yourself out, being like, well, is it there? And I'm just not tasting it, or well, is it, it says just cocoa, not coke? Right. No, I said coconut. I said, oh, coconut. Oh, okay. I said, you know, so, oh, coconut. Sorry, I thought you said coke. I'm no, looking for no, the no, coke. No, 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 no. I'm like, I said, you know, that, uh, again, I'm just, I feel like I have to psych myself out, and I'm like, maybe I'm just 
think focusing on other flavors too much, but I know what coconut tastes like. And... You know, if you take like a small amount and let it kind of mix with your saliva, I think the coconut shows up just in the barest hint there. It's a really subtle flavor that is being overdone or kind of over uh, yeah overshadowed overshadowed over. by the real intense sweetness. I would wonder how much this would dry out as it ages and yeah. whether the coconut might become more prominent and prominent yeah what's the it's like almost an almond joy maybe right the finish yeah yeah it's like chocolate Actually, that's, and that's, sweet. that's a great yeah because i was thinking like the mounds of the almond joy that's mm -hmm. yeah that if you were eating one of those with this you wouldn't be able to tell, tell where the <laughs> candy bar which, ended where's and the beer began that's right, yeah <laughs> um i like I, that though that's it's a good beer I've had several ale songs. I mean, I've posted a couple from a couple reviews for the channel. Where are these guys out of? Um, ale song is, I want to say, out of Yakima. No. Uh, Eugene, actually. Um, it's a different one. It's No, Bale Breaker is out of Yakima. That's right. Okay. Um, Eugene, and they, they do specialize in, in uh, like, barrel-aged beers. Though they have a lot of wine barrel-aged beers. Okay. Including quite a lot of like wild fermented or kind of sour beers. Uh, there are Vino Vizia and um, Melodram Melodramatic <laughs> <laughs> are, are a couple that I've enjoyed quite a lot of and actually have several in my cupboard. Yeah. Um, but uh, this is yeah, good stuff. Definitely sweet. I'm. <laughs> yeah, what's your take on sweet beers in general? Like just. This. I would have a hard time making it through the bottle myself. Yeah. Sharing this around a table like this, this is just right. Okay. I really am not going to want more than this. I'm probably going to stop for this bottle yeah. and stick it back in the I fridge. Think, I think it'd be wise to do that, yeah. Just because it's it's intensely sweet. It's far more intensely sweet than any other yeah. sweet beer I've tried. But, I mean, you expect that with the milk stout, with, a, with any of those really like dark barrel-aged stouts. But this is just kind of over the top in its sweetness. Mm -hmm. um, I think at the same time that my taste buds matured when I was, I don't know, 30-something <laughs> is around the time that I... I mean, I still enjoy sweets, but it's not a daily necessity. Yeah. Now, you, you've been trying to get me to, to enjoy more sours. That's, uh -huh. that's the thing that, you know, I think, you know, I'm still still breaking into... You know, like I said, I like I like flavor, and mm -hmm. uh, you know, so this this is like you said, this is a good sipping beer. Um, you know, I love the citrus stuff, so that's why I'm always you know I love and again being from New England, so when I see a New oh, England yeah. hazy style, you oh, know, it's like yeah. unfiltered all the way. You yeah. know, I know that that's going to be a good a good drink for me, and so uh, you know, I, I but I enjoy I enjoy stouts, you know, immensely. There was a great um, actual coffee stout that they that, oh, yeah. uh, Long Trail in Vermont would do. And so, you know, they would they would partner with one of the uh, the roasteries there, and then oh, so get local, so actually get local, local good coffee, coffee cool. you know, and actually do that. Um, but I again the dry like a dry finish that's what I'm always mm -hmm. looking for. And so, you know, something like this where yeah, you're not having more than one glass. And again, unless you like sweet, unless yeah, you, you know, if sweet's your thing, um, it's not it's not bad. It's just it's different. It's, yeah, you know, for. It, it, I would say it's not my glass. It's it's not my preferred glass of beer. Not that it's not a well executed beer. Right. Yeah. It is smooth. It is a consistent, very nicely. Even in its intensity, I would still call it balanced. Yeah. Um, it's got maybe two or three kind of sub flavors running under this really just nice, consistent sweetness. Um, but it's just it's just too sweet for, me. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if you have a friend who's a sweet tooth. This might be the uh, the intro beer for them. It's true. If, if you know someone who likes chocolate milkshakes, oh, goodness, you, could, you oh. could get them started with this. This would actually be great. I was thinking in in something. In you know, this would. That's a good idea. You know, when you're talking about, um, you know, what kind of what kind of beers make good mixers, kind of thing. Yeah. Like this is this is a great you know thing to think about doing with like a a frozen you know like a, a you know a blended milkshake kind of thing and. And you just, you want to make sure the ice cream wasn't overly sweet, though. Yeah, well, 
<laughs> I don't know. It's weird though because when you do ice cream, right? That's it's like true. it's like yeah. sweet on sweet somehow. Like I can do I can do a bowl of ice cream and make a sundae with chocolate sauce and sprinkles of whipped cream, and sweet on sweet doesn't seem to affect it. It's like you've already reached the maximum. And and because of the cold, it depresses your taste receptors, <laughs> so the sweetness is mild yeah. down anyways. Actually, you know, I wonder. So I did the 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 float video oh, yes yeah, yeah yeah i think this would probably work really well because yeah. it's so smooth it's there's no bitterness in this yeah at no all. you're expecting it with a float that like everything just kind of is on yeah. the sweeter side and though to be fair i have preferred the, the float beers i have to be careful okay so i've tried it with I tried a, a Guinness. Oh, I'm float. getting the wait. Sorry, I'm getting the coconut. You're now. getting the coconut now. All of a As sudden, it warms up. It's kind of there. I think that's what it is. It might be. Possibly. Yeah. No, that's like all coconut now. <laughs> that's weird. <laughs> that's really weird. <laughs> what was it? We were yeah. drinking a Rattler the other day, and a friend who's <laughs> more into light beers or not beers. Um, it's like all I taste is beer, and <laughs> it was yeah. a grapefruit, grapefruit Rattler. And I, tar- and I tried it. <laughs> Only grapefruit. Grapefruit's it's all like, you taste. Different yeah. taste buds, right? Um, but the the beers that I've enjoyed with floats, but also the only beers I've tried with floats, are dry, like chocolate or coffee stouts. Yeah. You don't want a lot of bitterness. And what I found was the aged version of that stout didn't work as well as the canned version. Okay. Because um, it had this additional kind of complexity and sweetness that made it almost boozy once the ice cream hit it. Yeah. Like that was all that was left of it was this booziness. Um, so I don't know. Act. I mean, I think initial reaction. I think it would work well. But I mean, we could just do that. You know, we, we could totally we could just do just... that. Except I don't have any vanilla ice cream. <laughs> I have it's... caramel ice cream, <laughs> and it's way too sweet. That that would be sweet on sweet right there. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. Well, anyways, I've enjoyed it. This is yeah. Good beer. Let's add this to the rotation. Add to the rotation. <laughs> this is Matthew and Paul. Uh, we've been chew- we have been chewing the brew, <laughs> and I'll catch y'all on the flip side. Oh, that's right. My long sip. You know my stick better than I do. <laughs>